who knows what now she's going to look puffy and and feel like shit and be on edge and and store more fat in her midsection like i just don't like pellets Casey Ship here, creator of Hot Moms Lifestyle with a Z. This will also be on my YouTube channel. This will also be on my podcast. And we help go oriented women get everything they want, removing their obstacles along the way and ending the cycle of things not working out for them. I am a health intuitive fitness model and all that stuff. But I also am a, like a mom boss, right? I want it all. I have it all. And I'm getting more and not having to sacrifice anything in between. Like it, that that's that's bullshit, you know? I work with a lot of high level women and they think that to get one thing means they have to sacrifice another, you know, to get a good body, you have to not eat to get a good dish. You have to, I don't even know what, but today's all about hormone pellets, testosterone pellets, um, picking back in on the video that we did yesterday about hormone, about testosterone and the reason I don't like pellets. So like I said, my favorite, um, type of testosterone in the hormone replacement therapy realm and the bioidentical hormones would be injections injections and or cream here's why the cream i think actually has you're going to get more additives and stuff in the cream you know mercury and stuff like that you have to check each compound pharmacy does a little bit different the only you know downfall to cream would be it's on your skin if you touch your kids or something else you know it can transfer okay and you have to do it every day most most of the time sometimes you don't but sometimes you do injections to me have been the best um, thing they're easy to adjust yes it's a needle but in hot moms i'll show you how i do the needle like i i order special needles we do them certain ways where it's not painful it's not you know any of that scary stuff the injections for me especially like i think it's a sipinate not a nanthate i can't remember always getting confused it lasts a long time you can do them once a week and then you can get on your levels checked and if it's ever too high you can just dose it down if it's too low you can dose it up now pellets here's why i hate pellets First of all, medical doctors really like pellets because obviously it's um, they make more money for it, right? And people like pellets. Now, men do good with pellets uh, because I'm about to get into why. They put them, they implant them under your skin. I think in the buttocks area, I'm pretty sure, I think. The deal with women is this. A lot of times it's not just a testosterone issue. Like I've seen so many women that get on testosterone therapy and their voice changes and mine has changed a little bit um you know throughout my total hysterectomy trying to get everything normalized and stuff like that i have noticed a change in my the tone of my voice you know how old women when they get to be old they kind of get a deeper voice i've noticed some change there also I, I do see women that are overweight and 50 years old and they talk deep. You can tell they're on hormone replacement therapy, yet they're overweight and they're still not, they're puffy looking and they still just, everything's, you know, not good. The testosterone pellets too, they may be too high. So that means you're going to get a surge of tests. God knows how you're going to convert that because if you have low adrenals or low thyroid, your dehydrated testosterone could go through the roof and you may get chin hair, acne, painful sex, or just these negative side effects that may happen if you have that you know either genetically or uh you have a low thyroid or low adrenals that's why it's so important to use our our physicians and our people and we have that you have access to that in the hormones course those of you that are hot mom students you have access to everything um, but those of you that are not you can actually get access to the physicians that we use um, everything you need to know about how to tweak and 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 keep an eye on things and how to you know how to speak to them and, and the verbiage that you use and how to check in and actually what levels you want to be at and how to like manage it yourself if you have no clue how to actually manage it yourself so that you can get better so we actually have that for sale uh, be sure to post the link to just the hormone codes mini course uh, but the pellets yeah man you know they put them in they could be too high they could be too low and then you're gonna crash you know before you get on exchange you could be extremely too low and what happens there is that's that's why we want hormones and we want hormonal support is we don't want to be just fluctuating like motherfucker all the time that's going to cause your epstein bar to flare up um if you have any type of chronic fatigue or herpes simplex or uh, autoimmune disease you're going to get flare-ups you're going to get more flare-ups you may get sick more often because this is going to wreck your immune system and your whole entire everything from just going so high and then so low 
what we want is an even like insulin, right? You do, you want that. Well, unless around workout workouts, but you want that even flat line. There you go. You want to kind of flat line, stay as normal as you can and avoid these big peaks, valleys and dips and how you feel. I mean, shit, Ugh, no thanks. So that's why I don't like the pellets. And you know, too, like what if her progesterone is really high and now the extra test may convert to extra estrogen or extra progesterone or who knows what now she's going to look puffy and and feel like shit and be on edge and and store more fat in her midsection like i just don't like pellets i've seen a few women do them but once again i'm not impressed with their bodies i'm not impressed with their with with their levels when i look at them i'm not like that's great your test is like okay but your thyroid's whack your adrenals are whack uh your your fatty liver your this and your that and it's just and their body, I can just tell by looking at their body. But it's the way they eat as well. So that's why I don't like pellets. You know, men, I, it's okay. I've seen it work for men because, yes, they can convert to estrogen. And they also have hormone levels like women. But they're just, it's not the same. It's not the same. I have a total hysterectomy. It makes it a lot easier on me because I don't have any natural hormones. I just keep my adrenals and thyroid um, at a certain level, try to manage my stress and stuff like that. Um, I do testosterone injections, very small dosage, once a week. Do them on Sundays. I do them in my leg. And we, they have me on, I can't remember, it's supposed to be like 25 megs a week. But I don't, I've never taken that. It's too much for me. So I think I take about 10, maybe 10 or 15 megs a week of testosterone. I think it's uh, Sipinate. I don't, don't I, I just can't remember if it's Sipinate or that. I really can't remember. But that's 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 what I do. And in, in terms of estrogen, um, I use estrogen cream and it's very just PRN as needed. Most medical doctors will say, oh, you know, do this every night. Y'all know how I feel about progesterone. Oh my God, hell no. But unless you're trying to have a baby. But um, estrogen is like, if you start having the flashes, if your joints are aching like a motherfucker, um, you'll just know how you need to feel, well, unless you're not aware of anything in your body, and that's what Hot Moms helps you get in tune with your body, come back into your body, so that you can become aware and understand how you're feeling. A lot of people don't even know how they truly feel, much less when their hormones are off, right? It's just some, it's what's happened is they've gone so long either running from something or not addressing something or stuffing things down or not whatever the emotional thing is that they're not even in their bodies anymore. I know that sounds weird. We've got all the videos. I've gone over that. I'm not going to do it now, but um, the estrogen, you know, if you start feeling yourself drop, then you can do, you know, a click or two at night for a couple nights, you'll feel yourself feel better. And then you can back off and do it like, you know, three, three times a week or two times a week or something. And you'll find it. Then you go get your blood work checked 30 days, 60 days, 90 days and see where it's at with you doing three clicks a week of estrogen. You know, see where that's at because you don't want to be too low, but you don't want to be too high. either. You don't want to be over 126 estrogen. Testosterone, you know, you want to be around, what is it, uh, 35 to 100. Is it total testosterone? That's where you want to be. And then free testosterone is actually what you use as your body uses. I feel like, let me see, let me see, let me get you the exact number where you want to be. Um, six to nine. Okay, six to nine. If you, like I said before, if the total is really high and then the freeze really low, that just means there's an underlying, um, like the sex binding hormone issue, adrenal issue, uh, underlying thyroid issue. So I just highly recommend just get the hormone course. That way you can learn about it and understand how to approach it properly. And in there, whatever's going on, there's a protocol for it. So if your adrenals are low, thyroid's low, there's protocols for how you need to live life and how you need to eat and really approach it so that you can heal because it's totally possible. Don't let anybody tell you that you're, you know, lost case. You're going to take this the rest of your life. You can totally heal the shit. Okay. That's all I got to say about pellets. That's it. Thanks, ladies.